What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Lee, aka Rolling Thunder, and today we're going to be discussing a few things that have been going on behind closed doors, where I've been, what I've been up to, and my first ever track day. So if that is of interest to you and you'd like to know more, sit back, relax, grab yourselves a cup of tea, and without further ado, let us get stuck into the video. So ladies and gents, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. And as the title of the video suggests, we are going to be discussing uh, what's been going on behind closed doors, where I've been, and my first ever track day. So first things first, I'd like to apologise for the lack of content, because basically I've been on holiday since the 8th of August, and it is now currently the 19th of August. Uh, so I've been away for just over a week and a bit. Um, basically just recouping, you know, getting my birthday out of the way and uh, mine and my missus' seven year anniversary. Seven years, can you believe it? Seven years I've been with this lady and God knows what she sees in me, I, I, I really don't know. Um, I also turned the big 4-0 this month, so I'm now officially old. And uh, yes, I have started to turn grey in certain areas, which I won't go into because this is a family channel. And uh, yeah, it's a bit rude, to say the least. I would like to also apologise for the lack of content of the last couple of weeks, or even months for that matter, because I'll be honest, I've just not really had my heart in it because of things going on behind closed doors. Been reminiscing a lot about my mum passing away from last year and stuff like that, and just generally feeling a little bit down the dumps in terms of my mental health. But I do feel a lot better now, hence why I'm doing this video for you lovely people. Moving on to my track day itself, it was at Brands Hatch Indy. Uh, that's the short of the two circuits. Brands Hatch has two different layouts. You've got the Indy, which is the short sub one minute lap time uh, circuit, or you've got the GP, which is about a minute and a half, two minute kind of lap time. If you're familiar with uh, BSB and even World Supers in some stages over the years, uh, the GP has been used by a lot of famous riders, Troy Bayless, Neil Hodgson, Troy Corsa, various other riders that are currently in BSB and have been in BSB over the years. Um, but I was lucky enough to do the indie circuit for my first ever track day, and let's just say I absolutely enjoyed it. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that I did manage to get a little bit of footage of the actual track day itself using the 360 camera, but because I'm still not fully well versed in terms of how the 360 camera works, I accidentally recorded most of the footage in single lens mode. So, unfortunately, what you're going to be seeing is basically my rear wheel a little bit of engine noise and people going past me because I'm just slow. I mean, it was my first track day, so I wasn't expecting much. Now, the track day itself was hosted by a company called MSV, and uh, they put on a very good show in terms of having the uh, instructors on hand, having the medical staff on hand, the recovery vehicles, and all that kind of stuff as you'd expect from a, a high-profile track day. Uh, I was in the novice group, and there was four groups throughout the day. There was advanced, inters one, inters two, and novice. As we go on, I shall be throwing up pictures of me on track that were taken at the circuit, plus that little bit of footage I was able to get, like I've already said. If you're in doubt about doing a track day, please don't. I re highly, highly, highly recommend that you do one. I was very, very dubious about whether or not I was going to enjoy myself, but I really, really did. It was a great day. It was very much... Uh, a learning experience for me and I loved every second of it and if I were you I would definitely have a go you don't have to have a, a well you do have to have a like a bike license of some description but uh, whether you're on a 125 a 300 six, 600 or a thousand or it doesn't matter as long as you've got the correct gear and the correct bike then you can you can do a track day anywhere in the country really um, the main things you need to be aware of are the noise regulations. So most circuits have a maximum decibel rating of about 100, maybe 102 decibels, with a 92 to 95 flyby. Now, depending on what circuit you go to and what bike you're running, you may have to put on your standard can or you may have to put a baffle in your exhaust to meet those requirements. But like I say, it's on a track by track case. Um, the gear I was wearing, I was wearing uh, my Arai RX-7V Evo helmet. I was wearing a, a second-hand one-piece suit made by a company called RSL, which I bought on eBay for 80 quid, which actually fit really, really well and did the job really nicely. I was wearing RST Trattic Evo 4 gloves and Alpine Stars SMX6 boots. I wasn't too sure about what to expect from the day, but I can honestly say hand on heart that I enjoyed it immensely. I wasn't there on my own. I had my mates uh, Kieran and Andy with me. Uh, unfortunately, Andy's day was cut short because his S1000 RR was, or had developed some kind of uh, fault with the motor. He wasn't sure what it was to do with fueling or spark or something, but something wasn't quite right. 
so his day was cut short at lunchtime. Kieran was on a, uh, I want to say a K2 Jix 1000. And when I say this lad is quick, he is very, very quick. Almost to British Superstock standard quick. This this kid knows how to ride a bike. And I'll be honest with you, I, I wouldn't even be able to dream of keeping up with him. Um, Kieran also has a, a channel on YouTube, which I'll link in the description and a card above. Likewise, I will also uh, link either in the description or in a card above to MSV so you guys can have a look at the different tracks, different things they offer and so on. But just going back to how I felt the day went, I enjoy the day immensely. And if you haven't done a track day and you're thinking about doing it, take it from someone who's only just really done one track day. I've been riding for 20 years and I'll be honest with you, it's definitely, definitely worth doing. If you're in any way worried about what you're doing or how you're doing it, there are instructors available that you can hire on the day for an hour or a session or a day even. I don't know what they actually do because I didn't actually use them. But there are options there. You know, obviously, it's always good to talk to people in the paddock as well. And if you're sharing a garage with someone who's also doing a novice track day or done track days before, it's definitely worthwhile just having a natter to people and just chatting to people around the circuit. Um, but what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to throw in that bit of footage so you guys can see how good the day was and how bad my camera skills are. Um, so I'm going to throw over to that and uh, we'll be back in a minute.
So guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed what you could see of the uh, the footage from the track day. I do apologize for the absolutely piss poor camera angle. Like I said before, I still haven't learned how the 360 camera works properly. And unfortunately, I left it in single lens mode, which is why you're basically just looking at my rear wheel. Um, but on the whole, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments or questions with regards to the gear I use, the bike I ride, or how my track day went, or if you've got any other questions about certain elements of the track day that you want me to go into in more detail, feel free to put it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as I humanly possibly can. But for now, as always, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been awesome. I have been Lee, aka Riding Funder, saying look after yourselves, look after each other, stay safe on the road, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, adios!